Hello guys, my name is Arun and welcome to my channel. This series is a series of tutorials on scientific programming using Python. Now in this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to regrid data, regrid data in um, Python. Now, regridding is actually used is very much applicable for two dimens two dimension data. I will explain what it means. Let's say you have a data set or a data or a field such that you have values only between certain points. Okay. Now you may it's now for some reasons whatsoever you may be required to make you may you may be required to make lot of get the values between lot of intermediate points for for which the data is not available. Okay. Available. Okay. Uh, the like I mean, a lot of available and also sometimes you may have to change the you may have to uh, you know what to do what is that yeah once in a while you may have to uh, what you do is that uh, get the data for some other for some for some points for which you don't have uh, data initially based on what the data you have for others okay let me explain that little clearly okay uh, you'll understand what's going on in the tutorial you'll understand by if you look like look at the tutorial sometimes you may have ranges such that such that you have data in between them sometimes for certain particular ranges you may not have data and also sometimes what happens is that the shape of the data will be different okay now regrading is you is very useful for for readjust for adjusting the shape of the data without modifying the consistency of the data I mean without modifying the actual uh, distribution or a field in the data let's say you're getting something like a normal distribution okay and if you want to change the data you want to change the data uh, the shape of the data but if you do that, if you do that by cutting, uh, by removing certain axes, removing certain columns in the end or rows, or make some adjust adjustments based on that, then uh, you apply, then you're actually missing the point. The contours are, contour will be weaker. So you know, I mean, the figure will be little distorted. Now, how do I go about with, uh, go about that? Is simple. What you can do is that we can use the interpolation operation and uh, readjust re the shape of the matrix and come up with a new matrix such that the original plot and the final plot are the same and at the same time like the overall field of the final plot and the same plot are the same but you can also come up with a re new data type I mean uh, new variable size okay that can be operated with okay for that what you need is that first of all as a step zero as a beginning zero step you need to interp you need the interpolate function interpolate class from the scipy module so i import that using this option from scipy import interpolate as inter okay you can do that or just use interpolate that's not a problem so i'm going to use this way fine okay and then uh, that's step one step two set some data i'm going to set x and y to be linearly spaced between minus 4 and 4 with 9 points in between them okay this is fairly straightforward okay then uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a mesh grid this is necessary step 1 set a value to be a regrid along with the mesh okay we you need a re you need a mesh for this so use x and y to create a mesh grid values x1 and y1 thereby you get creating a mesh simple as that simple as that next now next thing what you have to do is that uh, if you have a data which has to be interpolated make sure that data is ready so i am here i don't have the data to be interpolated so i'm just creating one if in your case you may have a data that is already available so keep it ready and then that's step one end of step one in end of step two what you do is that create a range create the new range for the regrading create a new range for regrading okay now xi and yi are new ranges you see these are big these are bigger data it, these have lot more ranges and if you even if you adjust the ranges it doesn't matter it will it will be fine so if i plot if i plot them up new, new ranges are ready okay and now uh, get uh, get the new range and also regrid it so i'm using the same function over here which it last which we saw last time uh, i'm going to use that over here regrid it and that's it the regrading is available Regretting is available and then what you need to do is the imp this is the important part first you need to create a temporary variable which is actually a bivariate b spline representation of the surface okay by uh, it's a, no, it's not u it's actually it's actually yes okay now 
TCK is actually a bivariate base plane representation of a surface you know it may be look too technical what you have to keep in mind is that it what you have to keep in mind is that based on the values of x1 y1 and z1 x1 y1 and z1 okay we will be having lot of value we'll be having lot of values okay uh, T tck will create a lot of intermediate will create a lot of uh, complicated values in between based on some internal calculations and spine calculations and everything spline calculations and everything okay it will create a sur it will create a path based on this surface it will create a surface data based on this so let me just copy this and uh, paste it over here okay now if i were to plot T, if I were to plot T C K, if I were to plot T C K, okay, it uh, it's a uh, it's kind of uh, peculiar because it's it has lot of input values values into it like uh, y uh, some zero thin uh, zero thin index is an array y first index is some other array second index is a float value with sixteen units and everything sixteen units and everything. And uh, fourth, third, and fourth, third and fourth index are three units each. It may, it, it's kind of a complex, it's kind of a, a peculiar list, which uh, which goes on. But as of now, it's needed. That will be used for interpolation. You create this temporary list, okay, which uh, which has some in representations. Now, what you do in the final step is that you use T C K in the in this function B I S P L E V. Here B I S P L R E P creates this spline representation from a value T C K, whereas this will be the interpolation for interpolation regret interpolation function. What this does is that it uses the spline B spline uh, it uses this B spline methodology followed over here to create uh, values for Z two at the points X I and Y A using the value using the some data from T C K. Okay. If you guys want to know how it's going on, you can go and break. You can go and look at the plots and stuff. Okay, I my, myself did not find any need for it, but if you guys want, if you're curious enough, you can go and have a look at it. So just copy this, copy this, and I paste it over here. Ready? Now with that, your Z2 is ready. Your Z2 is ready. Okay. Now, now this way. You know, this way you have not you're not only interpolating the data you're also regretting the data meaning suppose if z2 z x z2 has a different range let's say that also that that's also possible so what i do is that now after import my matplotlib okay let me use this option called as subplot to see how the data goes by now here two stands for two figures one oh, sorry two stands for two rows one stand for uh, this one stands for the column column number so you, so this subplot says is that you will have two rows and one column so you'll have two figures in one in the two figure two figures in two figures i mean it it actually means that uh, you will have uh, two two rows of figures and you have one column of figures so in total you have two figures okay and this one represents the figure number and this one represents this figure number so you have this the f this one represents the first figure this represents the second figure that's it okay now if i were to copy all this uh, come on now if i were to copy all this and paste it over here paste it over here and there you have it this data is, uh, is without regrading and this data is after regrading and if you see the sharp transitions over here, uh, line transitions are removed because of slower points and the regrading and everything, and it looks proper here. Okay. Not only that, what else you can do is that you can change the data data variations and this also. For instance, le I copied x i and y i to be like between this, right? So let me copy the same. Okay, I paste it. But instead, let me put this between five, between five and five. And let me add instead of 17 points, let me add 21 points here. 21 points here. Okay. Let me add 21 points here. Okay. And I create TCK and Z2. Everything just like in the above. Just like above. 
okay now if i were to plot the same thing if i were to plot the same thing plot the same thing there you have it even what i can do is that based on whatever input we give he just uses that to make some uh, re adjustment and re adjustment and uh, alterations based on that okay the thing is if you just de deviate too much the thing is if you just deviate too much okay then uh, the adjustments may, may may not be faulty but if the deviation is just slight slight very slight movement outside then uh, it is worth it the interpolation goes very nicely slight adjustment will be fine if there's a large adjustment then it will be it will be a little faulty but this way you if you ha if you have some data for which you have to regrid and uh, get some values for some points which you don't have points you can use interpolation operation with slight modifications to regrid the data and that's one way of doing grid regrading okay now that's now if you see if do you see any difference over here not much except for small changes so it's better to do it and sometimes uh, the larger the value you go over here the mess the messier the regrading becomes so it's better uh, you take you, you take care of how much memory are you being accessing here in your system uh, before you do ac access regrading because regrading sometimes takes a large amount of memory and you sometimes your computer might freeze we don't have enough ram or if the processing processor is a little slow or something of that sort okay so be careful on that the next tutorial we look at streamline plots and quiver plots in next tutorial we look at streamline plots and quiver plots okay thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys next time